and also um, seeing everyone's faces, shining faces that are connected up. And as I said yesterday, I want to talk about something that Papa, of course, mentioned in the Moody about just a sec. I have to, Baba said that, that we have to have love for service and he was praising so much. I can remember the meetings that we were having around that time. And we were also intensely involved in the meetings and Baba said, of course, what you're doing is great, but there's a lot of things that we have to take into, cloud, into account. But when he asked us, um, what do souls want? They just want peace and love. But also we who are doing the service, we should do it with peace and love. And so this part that uh, came up in the homework about having the determination to transform sanskars, part of that, it's not just having the determination or the power to put into practice. I have to understand exactly how sanskars work, how we are pushed and pulled by our sanskars. And just a second, I'm going to turn this off. We are pushed and pulled by our sanskars. So what actually is happening? Um, and when we talk about, you know, the mixture of sato, raj, and tamo there, Baba says that everything passes through that. And I want to share with you some, some images um, that will make it clear what we're talking about. I want to share the screen. I lost the place. Here we are. Now, there are some truths that actually never change. And this is like if I want to become more Sattva Pradhan, I have to connect up with truth. And I have to think about true things. I have to think about, for example, the fact that we are souls from the world of souls. I have to think about how we are children, we're Baba's heirs, and everyone, everyone with whom I interact is also an heir. I have to think that and understand that it's through our sanskars, which are recorded in us, that we are sort of caught up in this drama. And the drama is actually completely synchronized with these eternally recorded sanskars. And if we want to make it to the end with, with, you know, the 16 celestial degrees of qualities, as Baba said in this morning's Moli, we have to change our awareness regarding how the drama works, how it's connected with our sanskars, so that then we can start to deal better with everything and everyone. And this is absolutely so important in the transformation. We were Sattva Pradhan. We became Sattva Pradhan, and now we have to become Sat We became Tamil Pradhan, and now we have to go back to being Sattva Pradhan. So all of those sanskars are in us at this time. So all of the sanskars of my 84 births are with me at this moment. So when I interact with the world and with people, uh, there's a lot of, uh, let's say, there's a, there's a whole library of, of possibilities of, of attitudes and, and thoughts that can come up from sanskars which are already in us. And as, as Baba says so many times, almost every single Muli, there's something about this related to this, that everything goes through 
the stages of Sato Raja and Temu. And these are these states are recorded in the sanskars. And my sanskars and all of our sanskars is sanskars together make everything happen. So the world is sort of unfolding as our sanskars individually and collectively unfold. Now, what do we do? You know, where, where am I involved in? Like, uh, what are the sorts of things that, that push and pull me? For what reason? <clears throat> Um, am I more caught up in my worldly tasks, my work, family, finances, home, or I'm more caught up in tasks connected with serving others, or am I somewhere in between, like here, you know, in between? Um, or am I mainly concerned with my spiritual development? Of course, we have to give attention to all of these things. But the thing is, I have to check these interfaces, you know, how much is my spiritual development being prejudiced or am I losing because of my extra attention on worldly tasks or my, I'm caught up in service so much. That certainly seemed to be the message in the Mali when Baba was meeting and I was there. Um, it was a very intense meeting, I remember, and, and Baba was just reminding us, wait a minute, what do people really need? They just want peace and love. And so there we are busy thinking about service, or maybe when we get back to our place, we're connected with, with our worldly tasks, but we have to see how to balance the consciousness connected with those things. So this idea of Sato Raja and Tema, right? They're sort of three states and they're sort of <laughs> coexisting at the same time, you could say. So at this moment, I do have Sato Sanskars, Sato Pradhan Sanskars. I have my divine Sanskars, my original Sanskars. But I also have the sanskars that I developed in the Copper Age, and I also have the sanskars that I developed in the Iron Age, and especially the ones in this, in this birth, the last few births, where the sanskars were the most impure. So I have all of them. I have the recordings of everything. So if sato is the purity, the inner joy, Raja is sort of more movement, more passion, more more involvement in things. If there's a lot of thoughts and a lot of actions and a lot of words, that's a Raja state. So doubts and things like that, which are not exactly vices, but they, they keep our thoughts rushing and our words sort of gushing out and our, we often do many more actions than we need to do. And of course, the tama would be the, the stagnation, the ignorance, the inertia, the slow, stopped even. And they're the sanskars from the Iron Age. So these things sort of work together. And Baba, I mean, many of the younger ones who've never even seen probably a record. This is a record. And Baba says, the soul is just like a record. And it's got all of these tracks in it. So, and Baba says that the, the needle of the record player is, is the present moment. So what is coming out now was already recorded. What came out is still on the record and what will come out later is also on the record. But where the present moment is, that's exactly where the needle is. And so, if I look at the soul like a sort of a, you know, it's just a point of light, right? And it sort of, each of our births is like a layer, like I was sharing with you yesterday, you know, the, the earth cut down the middle, you can see the different layers, but the soul also has the layers. And if we imagine each birth, you can imagine 84 layers, right? I, am, I couldn't do 84 layers in this diagram. And this outer 
core is the present birth, right? So where am I in all of this? Where is my interest? And I, I, I've put it in such a way that you can see that, you know, the original Sanskars are here. And as in the soul, maybe the consciousness is stuck up in this, this um, the surface bit. And when we interact with others, look what happens. We've got this sato part of us, then we've got this rajo part of us, and then we've got this tamo part of us. And there are some influences, of course. Matter, of course, all of our tamo pradhan sanskars are on the surface. So they easily are stimulated by matter, by other souls. And, of course, Baba comes and he tries to get us to bring out from the depth our best. And um, when we meet, when we're sort of interacting with other people, right, with the interaction maybe between my sanskars, my tamo sanskars or, and the tamo sanskars of the other one, or I can be interacting with their radio set. They're running around too much. I can't keep up with them. They're speaking too much. I can't understand them, right? But Baba wants us to connect up here, soul to soul, so that I need to have a sato relationship with everyone. It's not my tamo sanskars interacting with the tamo sanskars of the other one. We've seen what sort of things can come up in those that sort of relationship, and it's not, uh, you know, it's not my raja with the raja of the other. I have to start to interact with people's most elevated qualities, and harmonizing with others is actually harmonizing between our deep qualities. It's not about you know, it's not about just uh, this sort of thing. And so I have to sort of, you know, and what happens when we get into to contact with Baba? Baba brings the best out of us. I am the soul, right? And I just put myself in front of Baba. I just take out the, just his presence brings my high sanskars to the surface. And I come back and start to shine with those sanskars. So it's really, you know, this sort of living, okay, uh, my physical body is in the physical world. And I'm looking through my eyes at the physical world and I'm shining out the best of my qualities, but internally I'm connected with the, the source. Love is the ocean of peace, the ocean of love. I just connect up and I start to radiate those qualities. Basically, that's all we have to do. You know, it's such a beautiful exercise to remind ourselves that in my original state, I'm very similar to Baba. Not, not equal, but similar, right? I'm not the same as Baba, but I have similarities. And just staying in his field brings out those qualities in me. So it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing to be able to experience. And so in body consciousness, and of course, I'm connected up with the physical world. If I'm body conscious, I'm in Kali Yuga. I'm not in the confluence age anymore. And so just body consciousness itself activates the, the sort of more tamo sanskars. 
And this affects my attitude and vision. This affects my actions and it strengthens any bondages and extra, it strengthens the tummo characteristics. And it sort of reinforces itself. I just go around and around this cycle in which body consciousness and the co connection with the physical world, which of course everything I see and can can touch and, uh, and I can listen to everything, even the body is in a Tamil Pradhan. So everything is Tamil Pradhan at the moment. So if I forget Baba and I just stay in body consciousness, I'm just stimulating my impure sanskars and that will affect my connection with others, right? So when I'm soul conscious, on the other hand, I have this connection with Baba then that automatically activates my pure sanskars. And that helps me have a pure attitude and pure vision and pure action. And this strengthens. I, I move towards karma teeth state and just more sattva pradhan state. And again, that feeds on itself. So I remember I'm a soul, I connect with Baba. It starts off a virtuous cycle. If I forget those things, if I forget Papa, I go back to body conscious, it actually stimulates the reverse of all of those things. So, you know, um, here I am. And as uh, Baba was saying in, in, in the, the movie, he was, talk, and, but he was talking about circumstances, situations. I start off with a, you know, with a, with a good intention, but actually what happens, I get sort of mixed up in between, right? I, I get sort of caught up in here somewhere. My intention starts out very nicely, but it gets sort of mixed up in the middle. So my reaction to someone or to a situation, that's how the virtues become vices. You know, what starts off as unlimited love here it becomes a very limited form of love here in the form of attachment and so on. So it's really a very subtle thing that my connection with others, I have, I can connect from my sattu to the sattu in others. And then I, every, the relationship will be fantastic very light, very pure, very clean. But if I'm connecting up with their Raj or Sambu Sanskars, that will just stimulate the same thing in myself. So if you're thinking about someone's defects, be careful because you're seeing something that's actually in you as well. That's why you recognize it. So if you think about someone's defect, the tummo and the other one is making you more tummo. If you're concerned about how worried someone is or how, how um, did you use the expression fluctuating? Fluctuation is a very good signal of a rajo state. You're fluctuating, you have doubts, you're, you, you know, you're caught up in the spin of something. You're not actually having impure thoughts, but you, you become a little bit lost. So I'm watching someone's fluctuation. I'm also fluctuating. If I'm concerned about people's doubts, I'm also caught up. It's like the Raju in me gets stimulated. Doubts are like more Raju. Uh, not, most of us have gone beyond the grosser forms of the vices, but the subtle forms, you know, too much thinking, too much action, too many words. I think most of us are still having to do, deal with that, at least what, from what I can observe. So I have to start to become, if I want to become Sattva Pradhan, I have to connect up with whatever is Sattva Pradhan around me. Now, nothing that I see and touch and feel and hear is actually Sattva Pradhan. But the truth behind, Baba says the truth is hidden. So if I make the effort to see what is true in every situation, I'm staying on track to become Sattva Pradhan. 
and my, I, I can extract the sato out of things and people. I have to make that effort. Then I can guarantee that I'll be able to get along with other people better and I'll be able to harmonize better and I'll be able to um, really just move beyond things. So let's finish off with some meditation now. That will play a song. These are some thoughts. So be careful about getting caught up in the raja and the tama of people and things. Try to connect up with what is true about people and things. And there is truth behind everything. There are lessons that I can learn. I can learn what to do and I can also learn not what to do. And these lessons uh, will reinforce truth in me and therefore my sato sanskars. It's a, that's the process. We can make it easier for ourselves. So let's have some meditation now. Om Shanti. Thank you so much, dear Brother Ken. That was a wonderful sharing. So now let's remember Baba and we'll take Drishti from our dear angel brother Tishan and we'll say goodbye and we'll see you tomorrow again. Om Shanti. Teri yaad ka deep